Hey you guys, it's Devin. And Chris. We are here with another Nighttime Talks. Nighttime Talks. Nighttime Talks. Nighttime Talks. We need a better <laughs> Anyways guys, this is our second episode of Nighttime Talks. We actually filmed this and then we got the footage back and it just wasn't working so we had to refilm. So what I went and did is asked you guys for your ghost stories. <laughs> We wanted to really talk about ghosts because I freaking like have a huge fascination with ghosts and I think they're scary and intriguing and when I was a teenager I would mess around with ghosts so I'm so excited to hear your guys' ghost stories and kind of do our nighttime talks about it. How do you feel about this episode? I'm like freaking scared of ghosts <laughs> and I'm like super scared to hear these stories knowing that they're real. He is yeah. not excited. He gets so scared of everything. Anyways guys, here are your guys' ghost experience, so let's get started and let's go. Okay, so our first ghost story was submitted by its.carla underscore Macedo. Macedo? Alright, this is her ghost story. So, scary music. Okay, ready? Should I read it like scary? I don't know how I should read it. Okay. I haven't looked at these ghost stories, by the way, so this is going to be my first time actually reading them too. Okay. So, my ghost story is that when I was six, I heard noises in my room. People were throwing stuff in my room, opening my cabinets, and throwing shoes and clothes on the floor. They were white and blurry white. I think that's what, yeah, blurry white. I saw ladies and men's. Uh, ladies and men's and kids. I saw ladies and men's and kids, but they were all blurry white. I thought they were my grandparents. I called their names, but no one, no one seemed to notice me. But after I knew there were more figures coming in and out, I saw I'm confused. So like she started seeing people in her room? Yeah. She started seeing like uh, blurry white figures that were like men, uh, women, men, women, and, and kids, kids, but they didn't seem to notice her. Mm -hmm. Coming in and out, so it couldn't be them. So I tried to scream, but I couldn't scream or do anything. My body froze, and when I finally got to scream, my grandma. When and when I finally got to scream for my grandma and grandpa, so um, she called her grandma and grandpa. <laughs> when I. <laughs> When I finally got to scream for my grandpa and grandma, they couldn't hear me, but eventually they did. And where the, when, <laughs> can't read. <laughs> and when they were coming, the tall figures disappeared. One by one. One by one, as they did, I felt my hand grab my ankle really tight. And I will never forget how, or so I will never get, forget when the figures were all gone. My grandma came in, turned the light on, I checked my ankles as soon as possible. I saw a handprint on my ankle. It was green and red. That was her first ghost story, she submitted a second one. Another one is not too long ago. I was taking the trash out and I saw a dark tall figure. Oh no. It was all dark though no face. No nothing, just a man's figure. But all black coming towards me. And for no reason I saw the figure. I couldn't breathe well, I couldn't speak, neither could I have screamed. I couldn't even more, I don't know. I managed to drag myself away from the figure. But as soon as I was close to the door, I was able to breathe again and talk. I turned around to see. So she turned around to see the black figure. I turned around to see where, where the figure was, but it was nowhere to be found. If it was a man, I could have seen him run away or walking away. And that was outside? Yeah, that was outside. Girl. The first story, I got creepy vibes. Yeah, the, the second first story, story I don't feel know like that, what to make sense of that. It was yeah. a little hard to read. Well, I think the second story, like, 
It makes sense that if it was a person, that you would be able to see them running away. Yeah. But also, that's really creepy that, you know, you went to go, she went to go throw out the trash. And then some figure was walking towards you. I don't know what to do. I don't know. That, that first one was just, that one got me. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. On the ankle. Whew. Freak me out. Wonder if a good one. This one is um, submitted <laughs> by your mom's house, 1819. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Alright. Alright, your turn to read. Your mom's house, 1819. Haunted story entry. A couple years ago, my family and I had moved into this complex building, and almost immediately, the activity had started. For weeks on end, it seemed like I was the only one that had noticed the activity and would be so frightened to be home alone. But this one time, I was getting ready for work, and I had walked past my mom's room. I worked during the day most times, and my mom worked graveyards at the time, and so usually she would be sleeping. But this particular day, she was walking back and forth in her room in the dark, and I her didn't- mom? Yeah, her mom. And I didn't think much of it because my mom usually is ex- Because my mom usually is extremely exhausted, and I had thought maybe she had smoked a little too much marijuana, Again, at the time, she smoked to help her sleep better. I had asked her what she was doing. She stopped for a second, but I didn't get a response, and she kept walking back and forth. So I walked away, shaking my head, thinking about how much of a stoner she was. And then, as I was, and then, as I was walking away from my mom's bedroom, so I walked away, shaking my head, thinking about how much of a stoner she was. And then, as I wa and then, as I was walking away from my mom's bedroom, I heard someone run from her room to mine. Oh no! It's like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you do if you heard? Stop! <laughs> 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 and run myself. Oh, no. <laughs> so I walked back to my mom's room, and she wasn't in there. So I rushed to my room, and she wasn't there either. I make my way to the living room in a panic because my mother is nowhere to be found. My mom walks through the front door. I asked how the hell she got from her bedroom to outside so fast. Long story short, she had just got home from work and I was really home alone. What? <laughs> Since then the activity got so bad that my mom finally believed it and a month later we moved out. Oh hell oh, no. no. Her mom just got home. Yeah, and she's like, hi, honey. And she's like, hi. The fact that she saw her mom was like, what, what, why are you walking back and forth? Yeah. There's something. I don't know what I would do in that situation, especially the last uh, story. Um, we do have more entries coming, so we are going to have a part two, so make sure to keep an eye out for that video. Oh, like and subscribe. Be sure to like and subscribe the video. Tell us what you think in the comments below. And always remember to be you. And have fun.